build an affordable rolling cart and track designed in the context of CubeSats. The tools you might need for this project are water bottles, rubber bands, dowels, tape, a clamp, a drill, a hacksaw, wheels or bearings, some measuring tools, and perhaps a brush to help clean up the sawdust. Design tips. You will need some small rubber bands to go around the neck of a 500 milliliter water bottle and some larger ones to fit around the center of the bottle. A caliper will be useful. Measure off the length of the axle to be cut from a dowel. Since the context is cube sets, the length to be cut is 10 centimeter. Design tips. Calipers may also be useful for measuring diameters. Mount the dowel in the drill. The cutting setup uses a clamp and a hacksaw with an upside down blade. Design tips. A shorter dowel will be easier to cut by the drill method. Notice how the long dowel tends to wobble a bit. Using the drill and the hacksaw, cut the axle from the dowel. The hacksaw is mounted upside down to allow more downward pressure. Now, shape the ends of the axle to fit into the hole in the hub of the wheels using the drill and a file. Design tips. If you can get dowels for the axles that have the same diameter as the holes in the wheel hub, that will make the assembly much easier. Place the wheels onto the ends of the axle. We have my Tiger Shark. We also had a mobile operations facility 5 in which uh, remote pilots were also able to man that station and control the aircraft. And then we also had Vision Control Center 3, where the test conductor controlled the intruder aircraft and the Tiger Shark. And we also had the live virtual constructed environment at Armstrong and the connected planes. Design tips. Use wheels with a U-shape or C-shape cross-section so that they will wrap around the track dowels. Make three more wheel and axle sets in the same way and cut two extra pieces of dowel to connect the track ends together. Design tips. Cut dowel pieces a little longer than needed and then sand them down to size. The track ends are connected with a dowel, rubber bands, and tape as shown. Design tips. The rubber band is stretched across the track end the dowel and then taped in place. Cut dowel pieces a little longer than needed and then sand them down to size. Make sure that 
the dowels forming the track rails are connected at the right distance apart so that the wheels will lay correctly upon them. Design tips. To make a longer track, connect two dowels end to end with glue. Avoid using tape or any other thing that will interfere with the smooth and continuous rolling of the cards. The track width should be 10 cm from outer edge to outer edge. Cut a water bottle to 10 cm length from the top. To make a cart, connect the bottle part to two of the axles using rubber bands. Design tips. To attach a bottle cart, Place one end of an axle into one end of a rubber band. Then stretch the rubber band across the neck of the bottle to the other end of the axle. Place the other end of the axle into the other end of the rubber band. The front of the cart is now mounted. Stretch a larger rubber band across the other end of the cart in the same way. Experiment. Subscribe. Experiment tips. As you saw, when the track has a low incline angle, the cart moves slowly along it. Raise the incline angle and the cart will move faster down the track. Experiment tips. In the experiment just shown, we saw that even at the same incline angle, some parts move along the track faster than others. What causes that? The wheel bearings, or the axle alignment, or something else? Friction? Experiment tips. The same carts may move at different speeds on different tracks. 
all other factors being the same, the alignment of the card axles on the track can change the outcome of the experiments. Experiment tips. What can external forces do? Credits. Created 02 16 23 1 4 3 Space Design by Benjamin E. Baker. Images. Ford F 100 Blueprint by June Mai. Creative Commons. Attribution. Subscribe.